Hey there, thanks for coming to watch this video on how to upgrade your RAM on your T470 and T480 laptop. We have a total of 24 gigs getting installed today. I have an 8 gig stick in there currently, so it's a decent upgrade. And we're going to be covering how to update the BIOS so that you know you're not messing up anything internally while you're doing the work. And then also we're going to be covering how to actually install the RAM. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps me and hopefully I can help you with this video and also stay tuned throughout the whole video because I'm going to be sharing some important notes throughout and you don't want to miss those. You don't want to mess up your laptop. So watch the whole thing through without wasting any more time. Let's get to the video. First off, let's talk about what we need in order to get this done. Like I said before, we're going to be installing two sticks of RAM, one 16 gig and one 8 gig. I know the package says two 16s, but we're actually installing an 8 gig and a 16 gig one was repackaged. So that's that. Next, we're going to also need a screwdriver. So our screwdriver here is a Phillips head screwdriver. Any small Phillips head will do. And then we're also going to need some sort of plastic tool to pry open the side casing so that we can get the bottom off of the laptop. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Next, let's talk about how to get into the BIOS of the laptop because we'll need to do so in order to turn off the internal battery. First, you're going to make sure your computer is fully powered down by holding the power button while it's on until the computer shuts off completely and there's no light. Next, you're going to want to get ready to turn that power back on with your right hand and then also spam the F1 key as the computer's booting up until you get into the BIOS. You should end up seeing an entering setup text in the top left corner if you've done so correctly. Once in the BIOS, you're going to want to navigate using the arrow keys in the bottom right as well as the enter button. You're going to want to move over with the arrow keys till you get to the config section. Once you're in the config section, navigate down with the down arrow key all the way to power and hit enter. From the power menu, you're going to want to navigate all the way to the bottom with the down arrow and click enter when you get to disable built in battery. A pop up screen will appear and you want to make sure yes is highlighted. And once you click enter on yes, you'll see that the computer fully shuts down. Now that the computer is fully shut down, let's get to the computer and flip it over and remove the battery. There are two locking mechanisms on the right and left. You're going to want to make sure that you slide those outwards and you can slide out the battery. Once the battery is removed, we're going to locate the six screws that are on the underside and loosen them all. There's one in each corner and then there are two in the center region of the laptop. Once you're done loosening all the screws, you're going to want to flip the laptop over and start to pry away the bottom cover from the top piece of the laptop. There are a bunch of clips holding the laptop together, so you're going to want to make sure you use that tool to kind of separate those clips and you'll actually hear them audibly while you're doing this. This portion is a bit finicky, so you just want to make sure you're not breaking any of the clips and you just want to exercise some caution here. Once you've got the clips all undone, you can open the back cover and remove it from the laptop. Once the back cover is removed, we're going to want to disconnect the internal battery. You'll find it right next to the RAM modules, uh, which are those black flaps there. And it'll have a series of different colored cables coming out of it. And it's just a tiny little plug that you're going to want to unplug 
and make sure it's disconnected before you change the RAM. To remove it, you can kind of jiggle it side to side and also pull backwards away from the port. Once that's done and moved out of the way, we can focus on the RAM slots. The first one is the only one that has a RAM module installed and to uninstall it, you're going to want to press sideways on the clips outwards so that the RAM module pops up. It's very easy. Those metal clips on the sides, you just put pressure on them outwards and they just pop out of place. To install the new module, you want to want to make sure you line up the notch on the RAM module with the notch on the motherboard. You'll see it in the video clearly and I'll zoom in here so that you can see it moving in and you put it in on an angle almost and then once it's inserted fully and there's nowhere more for it to go forwards, you press down on it and it'll clip into place. Now I'm going to spin the laptop over and install the other module. There's another RAM slot here. It's empty. If you had one here and you wanted to replace both sticks, you would remove it the same way you did the first. Again, to install it, lift the flap back, line up the notch, insert it into the pins, and then press down for it to clip into place. Once that's done, we're going to want to reconnect our internal battery, make sure the groove lines up and you slide it back into place and you want to make sure that it's just plugged in the same way it was when it was taken out and it's all the way in. Don't mind the dust on the fan at this point. This computer has been used for a few years during work, so it has seen its fair share of dust. At this point, while the laptop's open, you can take an air can and dust off all the areas of the laptop before you close it. Once that plug is plugged back in, we can reinsert the bottom housing and then clip all the clips into place and screw the six screws back in. Slide the battery pack back in on the bottom by moving the clips to the unlocked position and sliding it back in. Now because we disabled the internal battery to work on the computer, we're going to need to plug in the AC adapter so that we can actually power the machine back on. Once the machine boots up, the internal battery will get enabled again so you don't have to worry about that. If you'd like to check if the RAM was installed correctly, you can go right into Windows and check that way, or I like to go to the BIOS and make sure that all 24 gigs are installed correctly. To do so, again, hit F1 as it's turning on, and it'll take you to the BIOS, and you'll see that we have 24 gigs installed. So that's it our video is complete we're done installing the ram we're ready to rock and roll hopefully this video helped you if it did please leave a like down below because it helps me out as well if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and i'll try to get back to you as fast as i can also don't forget to subscribe because that also helps me out as well and um, if you're into any gaming content i have some warzone content and fall guys content on my channel right now so go ahead and check that out and Hopefully you have a great day. You got your RAM installed successfully and I'll see you next time.